Snow and Lambeau, Coach. Something about that combo that just works, like peanut butter and jelly. And we've got half a foot of the white stuff and still coming down here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Gens got it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. It's so opening drive, third down, they go with a slant, it works. And I'm wondering when the league's going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball in the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery, and he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 36. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Montgomery. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Of the gun, Trubisky. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down inside the 10. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Obviously, a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc.
Pat O'Donnell to kick After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Hakeem Hicks that time on the tackle. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 29, Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Recovered by Chicago. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Jimmy Graham. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Was a Darius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Anthony Miller. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Kenny Clark able to drop him for a loss of a couple. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Number 20. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. He may try and run for this. And he will have the Bears first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Chicago. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. From the shotgun is Trubisky. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, 
he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Throwing here, Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Here's Trubisky to throw. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run as the Bears push further out in front. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Pat After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. The end result, 21 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Jones running on first down, but finding it pretty tough going as he'll get forward for only about three there before he's taken down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Shreds the tackle. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back in. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. First and 10 at their own 41-yard line. 
After the interception, here's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The Bears on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. Here it's third and two, and they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Excellent job on the keeper, 20 yards and a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game the play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Well, the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Anthony Miller. Anthony Miller there to make the grab. And the Bears will extend their lead. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. From the six. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? A little jet sweep to start the drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's taken down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. On second down and four, Rodgers gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking middle, and that's complete. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers, and he'll look for Adams again, and this time he's got him. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Rodgers again now toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw again, Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. Rogers pass. And he'll get nothing out of that one. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result that and good tackling can lead to no yards gain brings up fourth down solid coverage by the bears d so on now for the packers is their all-time leading scorer mason crosby from the left hash this from 37. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. 
On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Chicago offense set to get started. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now Trubisky to Cohen out of the backfield. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. It'll be a two-yard gain, and they're going to face a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. And take it right on the 30. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Rodgers now on first down. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. The sack by Robert Quinn. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. To try again after the sack, Rodgers. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. 20, 10, and they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. 
This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score Bears 28, Packers 3. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Rodgers will try again on second down. Again, he was looking for Devontae Adams, and it's third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. That's complete to Lazard. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to get going again. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. They've got the lead. They've looked good this first half. I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess the opponent, and they try to consider what they would do to take things away <laughs> and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half to see which way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. Fights through and now a crease. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Come on, baby, I'm coming, baby. 
They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And Graham's got it over the middle. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. That's caught by Montgomery. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Watch the pass. From the gun, it's Trubisky. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Third down, and two yards to go. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's Trubisky. This will be caught at about the five. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that's going to make it fourth down. Of two yards on the play brings up fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this is up and good from Pinheiro and their lead will swell up to 28. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away from the six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. 
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. At their own 30-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 right at the 30. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And this one complete right side to Funches. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit. And that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. You've got to make completion step up and make those throws, and he did that. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. There defensively was Buster's screen to knock it away. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. Flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. First down, a run with Cohen. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now 
Mitchell. Trubisky to throw on second. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Going up top for Miller. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you gotta consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Again, it's Jones, and this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On third down, Trubisky. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. 
Montrevious Adams with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. I like how they started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He'll throw from the gun. Caught left side by Funches. Rogers Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. On the pickup, it's second and inches at the Bears' 43-yard line. Oh, they'll try the jet sweep here with Lazard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Less than a yard. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. This is Jones, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good. Give him two yards on that play, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. But they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Rodgers now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Throwing again. Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football, and this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. To Montgomery to begin the drive. Showed some strong running, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. 
throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The tackle makes it easy to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing here, Trubisky. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Zadarius Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Sheds off the tackle. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Good. 15 yards is the pick up there in the drive starting very nicely first down first and 10 at the 49 yard line that's the end and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action you're watching the nfl on ea sports on first and 10 here's rogers gets this to his running back aaron jones and a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Rogers. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bears will get the football back.
Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Again, it's Cohen. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And Gin's got it. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. Brandon, all things considered... They have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six at the 38-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 30. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. And sometimes things come together exactly like you want. It's not just been the volume of carries he's had in this contest. It's been the production as well. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They run. This is Cohen. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. David Montgomery, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. A gain of two yards on the play. Brings up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This is a tough one from 49 yards away. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. Well, they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it?
Pat O'Donnell to kick off. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the Bears' 47-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And again, it's Rodgers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pick up, first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. The Packers on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're up against a third and one situation. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Four-yard line. Rodgers to throw once more. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Rodgers again now, looking end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And I think the Bears have recovered, they have. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. 
but it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Brought down. That tackle made by Montrevious Adams. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And they'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Kenny Clark in on the stop. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 30-yard line. Second down, Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Smith. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. I think what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Chicago first down, the former Jag, Allen Robinson, on the catch from Trubisky. Trubisky gives to Cohen. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Today. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.